Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing the what's on my iPhone 6 video and I think I say this about every video that I do but I absolutely love watching these videos because I love learning about new apps and putting new apps onto my phone and hearing about what other people have on their phones because it's just so interesting to me so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So I have the iPhone 6, it's like reflecting from the window, but I have the iPhone 6 and it is the gold one. I don't know if you can tell from my case, but I have the Otterbox um, commuter case in Glacier White and I'm going to link it down below. Um, I love this case, I always have to have an Otterbox on my phone because I feel like when I don't have it, I'm going to drop it and the screen's going to crack and it's just going to be awful. Um, the screen protector that I have, it's just a regular screen protector. It came with the phone and I really want to get the glass one, but I haven't gotten around to getting it yet. So yeah, this is my phone and let's go into it. <laughs> so this is my phone and my lock screen is a picture of my friends and I for my other friend's 21st birthday, um, the one with the Tiffany sign. So I'm just going to go in. And this is my phone. I do have two screens and my wallpaper is a marble wallpaper. And I got it off of Pinterest or Google Images or something. Just search marble wallpaper and I just saved it to my phone. So yeah. And if you can see, um, there's no like provider on the left hand side you know it normally says like sprint or something it's because my phone is plugged to my computer but i do have sprint and i have a lot of apps um, i have 64 gigabytes so i download a lot of apps even though i don't really use them uh, the second page as you can see is all grouped so i'm going to start with this page i have photos camera mail and then the yahoo weather app and i like this app better than the regular weather app that comes with the phone because um, they have pictures for like every city. It's really cool. I do have three mail apps as you're gonna see. Um, this one that comes with the iPhone is synced to my UGA email. Um, I am not a student anymore, but I still get emails from them, so I still have you know my email synced there. I have Facebook Messenger and then I have Twitter. This is my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram. And then follow me on Snapchat. I'm going to put them like right here or somewhere. I don't know. But follow me on those social media sites. Those are my favorite and the ones that I update. Um, Definitely follow me on Snapchat because this weekend, October 24th, I'm seeing Taylor Swift in concert in Atlanta and I'm going to Snapchat all of it, so follow me there. It's it's Gina, I-T-S-G-E-E-N-A. Then I have Pinterest and my Pinterest is just my name. I pin a lot as well. YouTube and then Creator Studio. So this is a really cool app if you make YouTube videos. It'll show up. Um, basically, so it will show you kind of the statistics of your videos, how many views you're getting, your likes, your dislikes. You can even comment from this app, and it's not showing up, but it's a really cool app. Um, and you don't have to go on your computer or go on the YouTube app. You can just do everything from this one app. I have Google Maps, which is uh, the GPS kind of app that I like to use. Wells Fargo, um, which is my bank, the notes app, clock, calculator, music, uh, Gmail. This Gmail is synced to any, or this Gmail <laughs> account is specifically for anything job related or education related. Um, I like to use through my Gmail and then my Yahoo Mail is for this YouTube account and also for like stores like when a store asks for my email I'll give it them this one so there's always like a lot of emails on this app but I don't know I don't really like to use it that much 
What? I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. I have Safari, Calendar, Settings, and App Store. And then on the bottom, I have my phone, App Messages, and Google because I like to Google things all the time. So I have to have it handy with for me. <laughs> okay. So now we're getting into the fun stuff. So under Travel. So first I have Yelp. And... I really like Yelp. You can basically, wherever you are, you can find restaurants near you and then they'll have reviews, um, pictures of their food, and it's really great. I also have the United app and this is the airline that I primarily fly. And this is really cool because I fly on standby and you can check the flight status of any city that you're going to. So let's say we're going from Atlanta to San Francisco for today. You can search it and then you can just pick whatever flight and then you can see who's on standby, usually, but I guess not now. And then the seat map of like if there are any available seats on the flight. And this is really great for someone who flies on standby because, you know, it's always hit or miss if you're going to make a flight or not. So it's really nice to be able to see all of this from your phone. Then I have Uber. I've never actually used it, but I have the app. Um, around me is like Yelp, but it's a lot more general, so you can see banks around you, any gas stations, hospitals, hotels. So that's a really great app. Fiber is a free phone call and messaging app. Um, you can only use it if the other person that you're communicating with also has Viber, and it has to be on Wi-Fi. Waze is another app, kind of like Google Maps, um, but people can report traffic, accidents, police cars um, on your route, so uh, you're not surprised if you see like an accident on the road if you're, or if you're in like a standstill. Uh, people can report it for you and you can like redirect your route or find a detour or something, so that's really great iExit is also kind of like around me, um, but this is specifically for like road trips. So if you're, you know, on a road trip and you want to, you know what exit you want to go on, but you don't know if there's any restaurants or hotels there, then you can look it up on this app. Gas Buddy compares gas prices in your area, and then Google Translate, you can speak into the microphone or you can type in a phrase and then translate it into whatever language you want. And this isn't always 100% accurate, but it works for the most part. Then I have the Find My iPhone app, Health, and then we have the Entertainment. I have IMDB, Netflix, Pandora, SoundCloud, Spotify, and I use Spotify the most. ESPN because I am kind of into sports. <laughs> Stop is a um, game and it's kind of like Scattergories if you guys know what that is. Time Hop is an app where you can sync Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to it. And every day it'll show you what happened on that day from like years ago. So I've had Facebook since 2009 or 2008 and it'll show me posts from that date like years ago. So it's really cool. Bloglovin is a blog app. Um, you can follow a bunch of different blogs and see all of their new posts in this one app. I'm not the biggest blog reader, but if I'm incredibly bored, I'll go on here and read the newest posts. And then I have Colorfy or Colorfy, and it's like a coloring app. I don't know. I just got it for fun. <laughs> I have my shopping folder, and this is Starbucks, Fandango, Cartwheel for Target, Amazon, Retail Me Not is a coupon app, Sephora, and Ulta Beauty. Photography, I have Afterlight. This is the only app that I paid for. Um, I think it's $2 in the App Store and you can basically adjust lighting on photos and they have a bunch of filters as well. 
We have PicStitch, which is a collage app. Square Ready, which you can make your pictures into a square or put like a white border around them. The Timer Cam, which will put a timer on your camera. So if no one can take your picture, you can just time them. I time the camera so that you can take the picture. And then Cut Me In, which is like a Photoshop app. Not gonna go into detail about this medical folder. Um, there are a lot of, all of these apps are related to medicine. Um, they're gonna be apps that I'm gonna use in the future when I am a medical provider. So I do have them for that purpose, but I don't use them now. So if you wanna get these apps for yourself, you can definitely get them, but I don't really know much about them. I just kinda got them just because. My Parish is an app that the church that I attend uses and I look at it mainly for the mass times because I can never remember when <laughs> uh, mass starts because sometimes I go in the afternoon, sometimes I go in the evening and the time is always changing. <laughs> I have the UGA app which is very simple, I mean it's very simple but there's a lot of things on here that you can use if you go to UGA. <laughs> CNN app, um, I gotta get my news. GroupMe is a group messaging app that I used in college a lot. I don't use much anymore. Clue is an app that tracks your period. I like it. I think it's pretty good. Sleep Better is a sleep app. I don't know. I got it thinking that I was going to use it and I haven't even played around with it. Um, but it's basically supposed to like, it'll set an alarm for you and it's supposed to wake you up in your lightest sleep or something like that. And then obviously utilities, which has all the stuff that I don't really touch. So yeah, that's my phone. So yeah, that was what was on my phone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some apps that you want to put on your phone. And if there are any that you think I should have on my phone, let me know down below and I would really appreciate it. Thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. All it does is notify you when I have a new video and follow me on all of my social media. They will be linked down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.